With three weeks until Election Day, more than 7 million Americans have already cast their ballots. So far, Democrats lead Republicans in the six states reporting returns by party. There is a voting controversy cropping up in Southern California after a fake ballot box was called out by county officials. Local voters in the area are now concerned about that fake ballot box and wondering what happens to the ballots already dropped inside of it. Lori Perez has more. It was insane. I just, I, I can't imagine in what world you would think that that would be acceptable. Shannon Caney first spotted the drop box on the pastor of Freedom Way Baptist Church's own Facebook page. You see a gray metal container with a taped sign which says official ballot drop box and the pastor, Jerry Cook, wrote underneath, our church has a voting drop box in front of our complex. If you are voting early, drop your ballot on by. Caney and others alerted the LA County Registrar's Office which responded on social media saying this is not an official vote by mail drop box and does not comply with state regulations for drop boxes. The registrar's office told me tonight they're trying to reach Pastor Cook and working with council to issue a cease and desist letter. Other posts on the church's website show it hosting a forum for Republican local candidates and criticizing the Black Lives Matter movement. With that in mind, some locals are, frankly, suspicious of what the church's intentions were with the box. If you believe in your can candidate, there's no reason to try to fudge with the election at all. It's just, it's an attack on democracy. It's not okay. And it pissed me off. <laughs> I mean, it was up for like four days before I even saw it, before it started to kind of gain traction. Uh, so I'm, I'm really worried that, that someone uh, put their ballot in there and that he just you saw it was for a certain candidate or saw whatever and just tore it up or throw it away. It certainly is a concern. So we're digging deeper and asking, what should you do if you're suspicious of a ballot drop-off box? Well, officials recommend checking with your local county's registrar's office to see where the official secured boxes are located in your area. Many counties post that list online.